It's a little unusual today. I'm going to be very honest with you. It's a strange, uh, <clears throat> strange day today. Uh, several hours ago, before this taping, uh, I, I heard, and a lot of us heard the terrible news that uh, comedian Gary Shandling had died. And I have to tell you, uh, this is a devastating shock to me and to just about everybody I know. I've had, I think, about three hours now to process that Gary is gone, and this just doesn't seem real still, and I don't know when it will. Uh, in the next few days, and probably weeks, you're going to be hearing a lot and reading a lot about Gary Shandling, the comedian, and you're going to hear that he was supremely innovative and intelligent. You're going to hear that he is revered by everyone in comedy, and that is all true, 100% true. He was a masterful writer, a performer, uh, who went on to create incredibly groundbreaking comedy shows that inspired an entire generation of comedians, myself included. But right now, I'm not thinking about that aspect of Gary Shanley. I'm thinking about Gary Shanley the person. Uh, he was obviously hysterically funny pretty much all the time, but he was also extremely sensitive. He was complicated, and he had a ton of empathy for other people. And I want to make that point. That is something in this business, in comedy, that is very rare. He really did care about other people. During a particularly difficult time in my life, as fate would have it, Gary just magically appeared. This is true. And he helped me a lot. And that is what I've been thinking about these last couple of hours. Uh, I think it's seven years ago now. Uh, when my Tonight Show ended in this crazy, effed up, spectacular fashion, I woke up the next morning, and I had no job, and I had no idea what I was going to do, and I was just shell-shocked. And I was a complete zombie, and my wife suddenly had this idea. She said, we should go to Hawaii for a week, and she said, you should get some sun for like the first time in 40 years. <laughs> I had never seen the sun, and, uh, and not since. And uh, so I thought, maybe that's a good idea. So wife and my two kids and I, we got on a plane, and we flew to Hawaii, and we checked into our hotel room. And my wife took our two kids to the beach and thought, let's leave Daddy alone, you know? And I just sat alone in this hotel room for, I think, half an hour, 40 minutes just silent, not knowing what to do. And I could hear the ocean, and I'm just sitting there. And suddenly, the phone rang. And I heard a voice. And it's an unmistakable voice. And it said, Conan, it's Gary. I'm staying three doors down or on an island. There's no avoiding me. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, he had, been, he had checked in like the day before me. And he knew that I had just heard from somebody, hey, Conan O'Brien just he was like, Conan's here. He called me up. We spent, this, this is a week I was supposed to spend with my wife and kids. I spent the entire week with Gary Shandling. I, yeah, it was, and I'll tell you something. I was at a real low point. He counseled me, he cheered me up, he told me jokes, he talked to me about philosophy, he talked to me about how there are bigger things in the world and how I was gonna be fine. He talked about Eckhart Tolle, he went about all this amazing stuff. We had an incredible one afternoon, the, I think the last afternoon that we spent together on that island, we took this really long walk. We climbed over lava formations. We went through a cave. We went to this far part of the island, and we saw a little stretch of sand, and we lay down on it, and the sun started to go down. And we're both watching the sun go down. I turned to Gary, and I said, Gary, this is the most romantic moment of my life, and it's with you. <laughs> this is, I've never had a moment like this with my wife, and I'm having it now with you. He was an incredibly generous person. Uh, the first time I hosted the Emmys, I had an idea. He agreed to help us with it. He listened to my jokes. He punched them up. For the great Gary Shandling to do that for me was so special, so generous. And that particular collaboration created a moment for me that's special. I'll never forget it. And I thought maybe we could just take a second in honor of Gary and just take a look. In an effort to get a really big rating, NBC has asked me to develop a love interest on the show tonight. <laughs> it gets worse. Right here, right now. Yeah, this is clearly an idiotic idea. 
Romance works on a sitcom, but on an award show, it's completely unrealistic that I would be up here at this big moment and suddenly, for no reason, spot someone and start... you uh we will take a break and we will move this show forward we'll take a break we'll be right back we'll stick around <laughs>